What's up everybody, Alex here, and welcome to this match of Dota Underlord Standard Live in Season 1. This is being recorded on Twitch TV as it always is in front of an absolutely wonderful... I'm gonna take Kia here to take, take this over here. Is this gonna be a mage game? I'm interested in trying some mages, perhaps. Maybe try some mages. We got a quick maiden, I like that. We'll get a quick Bara. Get rid of... Get rid of Shadow Demon. Take double Bara here. Get rid of him. Put her in. Do this. Could even add bristle. No, no bristle back. No bristle back. Let's go. I think this is actually a pretty decent lineup here. We're not seeing much contention on mages. We probably won't see much contention on mages. Of course, this guy, easy two stars a mage as well, right off the bat. That's the way our luck works. That's the way our luck works. Let's see what we can do here. Yes, you freeze that hound. Too many summons. We couldn't compete with that. It's fine though. We're gonna get a free roll here. Let's see what we can do. Um, who's still fighting? Mega Wayne and VX Chronic. Oh, look at this DPS battle here. And of course, because Frostbite, Frostbite's gonna prevent him from attacking, which just extends the fight. Look at this. Tell me she wins. Oh, she's still lost. I'm actually pretty surprised. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Thinking, yeah, spirit mages. No, I think I'd rather go six mages straight up. I think I'd rather go all in mage human. It's one of my favorite builds. Mage human is one of my favorite builds. I think I'll take that. The two star Vara helps too. Hmm. This guy's still open forwarding. Going vigilant. Uh, Vigilant Hunters. Nice thing about that is mages can counter them. Because we can deep, if we get, well, the problem is we can't get Keeper of the Light till 8. But we can blow up their corner comp. We can blow them up. Hey, Kamikaze, good to see you. Blue Sky. What's up? Sell these two. I think we're going to stick here for the time being. So we have two people on win streaks here. It looks like Hunter Heartless is going to be contested. This guy, this, this guy's posturing like he's thinking mages, like he's thinking spirits. Did that other guy sell them? Yeah. So the crystal maiden got sold earlier. So we're against the first place player right now. I think he's beat us before, actually. I feel like this is the second time we faced him. Thanks for the weighted random, bro. Yeah, Barrow's going down. Okay. Alright. The pike sucks. The pike sucks. We were offered absolute filth. Awful. So what I might actually do here... You know what? I might sell this pudge. Just take the loss. No, sell the pudge. At him. Take him. Roll this. Take him, take him. Okay. Alright, alright. Hey, nice! They ain't lo There's nothing like uh, watching me, watching me and getting paid. Sounds like a good setup, Kamikaze. Systems down. Perfect. I like this Eno. I like this Eno targeting, buddy. I like it. Oh, Eno's dead. Eno's dead.
So what I'm gonna try and do here is I'm gonna try and get to the interest threshold and then we'll level. I'm gonna play this like a level build, okay? Everyone else is hard rolling, it looks like. Look at look at the economies. They're all very low. People are rolling. This guy's at one gold right now. He's all in. All in on getting these three stars at level four. So what we're gonna do here is we are in the, he's being contested by these guys right here. So they're contesting each other in hard rolling. So the thing, the way we counter this is by leveling. I'm actually gonna take him out. I don't need this Bara. I'm gonna hold him for a sec just because he's good enough. He's good enough to hold us through this early game. Again, we're not seeing contention on our units. Well, Bara, yes. Maiden all of a sudden showing. So this guy's definitely gonna go and try and go uh, mages here. He's looking like he's gonna want it. Which is annoying because it was never, it was clearly not his plan. He kind of just got gifted those, those uh, maidens. That's what we got to contend with. That's what we got to deal with. We actually know, we're going to lose this fight, but we should take zero damage. Karsis, good to, good to see you. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. We're actually going to win this fight. How did that happen? Okay. Alright. I'm putting the additional maiden on. Uh, you know what? I'll put on him. I'll put on him. Now, the reason why I put on the Lich over the maiden. I like the Frostbite lockdown for the maiden, but I think that the Frost armor is going to be beneficial here. We have several very tanky units. Of course, he self casts because he's an idiot. But, uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Sometimes, sometimes, it's just sometimes this game just wants to upset you, right? There we go, come on. One more frostbite would be money. No, yes. Oh, didn't actually cast. She was gonna kill that bat rider too. That sucks. That sucks. The enchantress has arrived. Easy. I did that because he's gonna step forward into this space. Not that it matters. Hey, what are you doing, damn it? What are you doing, damn it? There you go. Hey, Schmidt, good to see you. Welcome. Kaboom. Just found you on YouTube a few weeks ago. Love your content, man. Glad I caught you on Twitch. Finally, yes, Schmidt, I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream. I had these guys in the wrong position. I might actually go friendly fire here. Could the Krantz aggressive tank Jill? You know what? Let's uh, let's do Jill here. No, no, no. Yes? Yes, let's do Joel. Let's do Joel. We can Joel like this. But thank you so much. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the stream. And welcome to the community. As I've said a million times before, this community is truly remarkable. You're going to love it here. And I'm glad you're here. I want him late to the fight. I want him to come around. Oh, no, we'll do this. We'll do this. Lycan's a little too fast. Hey Kai, I, lo I love I love that uh, Keck W, man. I love it so much. I need more Rosetas in my day. Rosetas might be the ultimate, like, he might be the ultimate meme of all time. Like, if you think about it, like, nothing's funnier than Rosetas. Look at that ball lightning. What a beauty. What a beauty, Storm Spirit, eh? And look at Jewel. Jewel's just letting us thump these guys. Like, he's doing a really good job right now. Schmidt, that's amazing. I'm glad. Spirits spirits can high roll like that. They can be a ton of fun. I'm glad you're having fun with them, Schmidt. That makes me really happy that you're finding success with, a, with one of my builds. God knows I don't have any success with my builds. 
Oh, the tears. I'm fighting back tears. Look at these. Look at all these maidens. Just maidens everywhere, eh? Look at all these maidens. Why not, right? Wait, they don't have a TV app for Twitch? Can't you, like, Chromecast it and stuff, though? There should be ways to watch. Watch Twitch TV on a TV. It's Twitch TV! Yeah, we're gonna go six mages here. Six mage humans. I think I might add dragons in there as well. I'm doing level. I'm level. This is a level build. I'm not being aggressive at all. I saw that everyone else was hard rolling. Now, we might get thumped here. But if we can get more value on the board and do enough damage to these guys that uh, they run out of time. That's kind of the plan here. One more ball lightning. Oh, he killed. It, this damn Luna is going to get kills. Oh. Maiden. Okay. Now, in terms of contention, we're in a pretty good spot. This guy's a three-star Earth Spear right away. That, that's irritating. Look at this. Look at the CM all of a sudden mad contention here, eh? Mad contention. This guy's being gifted these CMs. He's not. Uh, he's rolling pretty hard if he's level four, honestly. There's Kunk. Good old Kunkaroonie. Kunk has got to go in here. Kunk is going in. We do this. Put him here. Have him come late. Kunkka on the edge for the stun. No. We'll do this. I want him surrounded. Kaya over here. You want... You want a hat? A fedora hat? Okay, that's that's gotta be... That's gotta be a sub emo for one of the streamers. Who's got a fedora as a... Uh, that, that feels that feels like a Digitam's things. That feels like a Digitam's fedora. I knew it was Digitam's. I knew it was Digitam's. As soon as I saw him, like, that is 100% Digitam's. Only Digitam's would have a fedora. Yeah, oh, tell me we get this kill. Are you kidding me? Look at this Crystal Maiden! <laughs> Look at that Crystal Maiden! Are you kidding me? Like, it's say what you want. That was an unbelievable play by that Crystal Maiden. Truly remarkable. We could go Shaco here. Could go Mango Tree. I'm going Tree. This is dumb. Let's do this. Look at that. That's so stupid. But you know what? I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's nice and dumb. We do it. We do it. We do it. We're all in now. There's Omni. We could actually go. We can take him her off. I think this is better. I think this is better, actually. I think completing four humans is more valuable than the, the Puck Rooney. I love Puck. I love me Puck, but in this case, I think we've made the right call. We want we want that mana. And we want those mangoes. Humans is absolutely important with six mages. You know what? I think this build is one of the best in the meta, honestly. It's going to be in my builds of the week. I mean, the, the problem is, is the meta has not changed in months. Basically, they released Season 1.5 and then never touched the game again. And there's so much balance like that needs to be done. Like, rogues are completely useless. Swordsmen are completely useless. Like, they literally have not touched the game at all in, like since the release. Have I ever tried Puck 3-star? Kai, you know I've tried Puck 3-star. I am like the Puck 3-star evangelist. I'm all about Puck 3, man. Who's getting three star? Oh, you gotta what? kill me. Now, again, we're, I can't really complain about three stars right now because that's not really what we're doing. That's not the build we're doing. We're not chasing these three stars. We're not. We're just not chasing three stars right now. We're trying to level. With that being said, I would appreciate... I gotta get to eight. I want I want Keeper of the Light. I want Lena. Like, I, I want the value. We need the value units. I want Dragon Knight. Like, I want Dragon Knight. Like, we, like this guy has two three stars. He's gonna beat us. But we're, oh, actually, we counter him pretty hard right there. Can we get the kill, though? It looks like no. He has too much value on board. Again, the open forwarder, right? The open forwarder is able to actually kind of pull these three stars off. It's way too overpowered. Like, if you really want, if you really, really want to rank up, if that's really your goal in this game, then you open forward 100%. Like, I completely agree with that. But it's just not, it's not I don't know, man. It feels so, it feels so awful. 
It does not feel like the next level play. The next level play. The next level play. Definitely not the next next level play. Um. How do you know the difference between when you should roll three stars or level up, Schmidt? That's a very good question. One of the hardest ones to answer because it's it's all it's very dependent on like your experience playing the game. Like you build that you build that knowledge as you play. But you got like what I did. The reason why I decided to level up here is because I'm going mages. They they really do. Be I mean every don't get me wrong. I benefit from three stars. Every build does. But it, for me to get three stars, I'd be chasing. So I'd have to hard roll. For a three-star uh, CM and a three-star, I should probably just do this, and a three-star um, Lich. The question for me is, I see everyone else hard rolling. If I do that, then I just end up messing up like everyone else. Now, being a mage player, I benefit from leveling up. So I see all these guys hard rolling at level five and six. If I can get to eight before them and maybe pull a Keeper of the Light or other high-value units, I, it gives, I, feel, I feel like it gives me a better chance to win. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I should have rotated these two... She might not be able to pack. We got lucky there. So it's a mix between kind of understanding what build you're doing and determining what your opponents are doing and how you can maximize your opportunity for success. In this game, with everyone hard rolling like that, that gives me a little space to level because it gives me an opportunity to gain access to the high tier units first. And the problem with the game right now, like, like again, it's purely... There's, there's problems with this game and like balance wise, like the tier 4s and 5s are too weak. So leveling does never like rarely feels like it pays off. If tier fours and fives were a bit stronger, it would really benefit me to level and then pull those guys out. Um, I'm gonna roll here. These are all bad. These are all bad. Now I could take Fedora. It's the best of the worst there, and I can take a Doom and maybe try and do something fancy. But this, to make no mistake, this sucks. Like, this is not good. So we're going to level next round. We're going to wait. Yeah, Necro's fine, but we don't have, we don't have Summoners. We don't have Savage. Those Brill Bruisers would have been, like, very meh. Like, yeah, you're right. You're right. But at the same time, if I get a Doom, I could add Doom into this build. Maybe I don't complete Dragons. I add Doom instead, and then we get Brutes. You can do something like that. Remember, like, Doom's a tier 4 unit. We're leveling. We can take advantage of those, uh, high, high value units, right? Look, this guy, he beat us last time, but now we've leveled since. Now, we really need Maiden to lock her down, and Maiden did. Oh, she cast it. Okay, so we're gonna get the win here. That's exactly what we needed. Car says, I remember good stuff builds. They were literally the meta. They defined every single thing, and that wasn't good either, right? Like, just having, like, one stock build that everyone did all the time. Like, that that was not beneficial either. Right? Ooh, look at this. Beastmaster. Gotta stop rolling, though. So, we wait a sec. Who's the next in? I think it has to be CM. CM is probably next in here. Rotate these. Here they come. Yeah, CM goes in next. Forget these guys. No way! Kamikaze with the gifted sub to Schmidt! Thank you, Kamikaze, for your support. And Schmidt, welcome to the sub crew. Kamikaze, one of the kindest people in this chat. Always, always supporting newcomers to the stream. And of course, supporting me in the process. Thank you, Kamikaze. Really appreciate that. Now, we still have a lot of health. I'm just going to continue leveling here. I'm just going to continue leveling. I'm being super greedy here. I got 53 health. Okay, we're, I think the problem is, though, with these three stars, we're going to start getting smacked, eh? Some of these guys are going to start hitting us pretty hard. We need to pull a... Um, oh, can't, don't do that. Don't do that. What I really need is I need... Um, I need Keeper of the Light. And he's not here. R I'll take Rubik. Rubik. Rubik goes here. We shift everyone over. Look at this lag. Look at this lag. Look at all these one stars too. Oh my gosh. Awful. We're one away from mages. We need Lena so bad. Keeper, Lena, doesn't even matter. I could even get rid of Lich, honestly.
For those that are just joining, wondering why this moron has a fedora, um, I could say something to try and validate myself, uh, but I'm bad. I oh man, literally fedora was the best option I had. That's how bad those rolls were. That is how bad those rolls. Like I knew this was gonna happen. I knew we we're gonna thumb. We we're gonna take like 20 damage here. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. <laughs> Kamikaze, that's hilarious, buddy. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Hey. Now I fight for you. I'm going to probably be able to get to nine before I'm desperate for anything. Yeah, at Rathgall, this is going to be a shame for Dora 100%. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubty bouty. Ooh. I would love to put on an actual fedora. That'd be funny. Look at this guy contesting all my units. Hate him. That Earth Spirit dodged that stun and now deleted my Joel. Unbelievable. This game is meant to be uninstalled, man. What was that garbage? Literally just straight dodged. So now we're in a situation where we gotta do this. We level. Put another storm on. Because why wouldn't we? He goes here. He's here. Rubik comes in late. BKB mech. Roll. Scatty MKB dag and take the dag because it's dumb. Dag in here. This here. He's here. This build is now officially a disaster. We roll now. Take the light in. Take the Rubik. There's Lena. There she is. Now, this looks better. This looks and feels better now. Gotta keep rolling. Could have went to six humans there. Wait. The time has come. I ran out of time. Rubik's fun. I'm not convinced he's very good. I don't know if six humans is the right call here. We got the Lena. We got the DK. We're getting thumped though. We're facing elimination. I wish to learn about this city. I think we're done, guys. Oh, it's a party up in here. I think I think the build activated way too late, and we didn't get to ten. This guy's got 85 health, level seven, three star Venge. Are we actually gonna pull this off here? Maybe, maybe. Ooh, we're doing better than I expected. We're still gonna die though. We gotta win. Kamikaze with the bits. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate that. There's the doom I was talking about. So now I think what we do is we get rid of Omni Knight probably. Okay, yes. Fedora Rubik, pretty low attack range. We can Fedora her, switch. I got, I got, I got it on. I got it on. I got it on. I got that brute bonus. I got that sweet brute bonus. Let's see how we do here. You got a good stun off. You got a good stun off. There's the fade bolt. 
Rubik's a boss. He let us in damage. Okay, he let us in damage. Okay, hold on. We're in a really weird spot right now. I don't think we ever- I don't think we go to six human. I don't think we make it to six human. We keep rolling here. Yes. I'm gonna hold this viper for a sec- I can't hold it. Okay, hold on. She goes here. She takes Dagon. Switch. Fedora. Okay. Uh, K.O. on Rubik. Um, it's on... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That could high roll. That could high roll. If we don't get eliminated here. There's Fade Bolt. He is doing a ton of damage. I gotta give him credit. We might get eliminated here. We gotta kill that damn. Oh, die, Drow! Okay. Yeah, Raph Call. It's exactly what I'm thinking, but I'll do it. You know what? Um. Scythe, not necessary. Another Dagon? Okay, this is dumb. Let's do this. Dagon here. Keep that there. Dagon. Oh, damn it. I can't do anything. I need all three. I need these. I can't. Take the Dagon. Switch her. Block him. Do this here. Dagon her. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, more Dagon! We actually deleted this guy here. We actually deleted this guy. We hit him hard, man. 19 damage. 14 damage. So we're winning fights. We're winning fights. We're winning fights. These guys are so huge to two-star. Um, I'm not excited. I'm not... I don't think this is the right positioning. We gotta rotate these. He's gonna survive. She's gonna Fedora. I don't need her there. Maybe we switch these two. Yes, that is so huge. Fedora her. No. Let's Dagon her. Fedora her. Um, Rubik stays back here. I don't think we can do much with the positioning. I think this is it. I think this is the positioning. I don't think we can do much else here. I think this is the positioning. Protect her for Dagon casts. 12 second cooldown. He has a Dagon because obviously he makes he has the Oh the Pudge pull, that's bad. We don't like to see that. Come on, we need to take down this anti-mage. Maiden, get the anti-mage! No anti-mage. Die anti-mage! Anti-mage is dead. Take down those Meepos! Damn, we just barely Oh! What? What? Normally, normally. I did not expect to win that fight. Oh, we get the doom. We got the doom. That is huge. Hold on. Doom. She can't be here. She has to be there for the Pudge. Respect the Pudge. Oh man, I could not believe that. I thought that game was done. I just I just saw I saw we were overwhelmed. I thought I was dead. We beat this guy last time. Now we got the Doom as well. Dude, was that a wild axis? Fade boy, I our oh man. We try Oh he killed Oh he's out! We're in third place! Yes! Yes! 
Can you guys believe this? What is happening in this game? These guys are at level 7 and they have no economies. This is nuts! We're actually making a comeback here. These guys can still beat us though. That's the problem. Their lineups are crazy. They can still beat us. We need to two-star this DK. Come on. Come on, RNG. I gotta stop here. I gotta stop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't really do much here. I can't bait the pudge. I will not be He leveled. Bloodthorn. Oh, it's a party up in here now. You know what? You want a Bloodthorn? Bloodthorn the uh He's gonna get his mana first. Okay, let's see. He should Bloodthorn the Lycan. Yeah, see, boom. Bloodthorn Lycan. Good, good. There. So, our primary DPS... Like, we can afford to have the, the Lycan Bloodthorn. That's not a big deal. Bloodthorn died. Sorry, Lycan died, so we may live. But this guy's got an amazing lineup. Come on, come on. It's not enough. It's not enough. Third place. Third place. That was a hell of a game. That was one hell of a game. One hell of a game. And, I mean, we didn't have crazy RNG, but we had just enough. They had so many three-star units, we couldn't compete. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a very special thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers. Take care, everyone, and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day.